Hi guys, this is Pierce with SparkFun Engineering, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Elastolite. It's a really cool EL panel, it's waterproof, it's super bendable, and it works great in clothing. So now we have all of our parts in front of us. If you're doing anything different than what we're doing here today, go on the tutorial on learn.sparkfun.com and it'll explain a little more into using the T connector, uh, using multiple straight connectors, things like that. For this, we're just going to use the three x five Elastolite lamp, the three feet of iron-on circuitry, the two straight connectors with the two pieces of iron-on tape, the Molex connector with the exposed wires, and of course the INV133. The tools you'll need are laid out in front of me. You'll need an iron. The iron needs to be set to cotton. You'll need a hobby knife. Wax paper if you're not going to directly iron this into a garment. The first thing we're going to prep is the two inches of iron-on tape. We're going to fold over the piece of tape and then cut it into giving us two one-inch parts. This is going to go on the outside of the straight connectors to make sure that they can be ironed into the garment. So now we're going to trim the Molex leads. There's four leads, but only two of them actually have any current flowing through them. The two leads we're going to want are the red and the tan lead. The other two we're going to clip off. Next we're going to trim the leads on the three feet of iron-on circuitry. We're going to make three incisions in the iron-on part of the circuitry. Be sure not to nick the thread parts as that can lead to a premature failure of the circuit. We're going to firmly pull the sheathing off to expose the two threads. The one side that's going to connect to the lamp, we're going to want to trim about a quarter of an inch. On the other side, which connects to the Molex connector, we're going to want three quarters of an inch to an inch. So now we're going to make the connector that connects between the Molex connector to the iron-on circuitry. Uh, we're going to need the two straight connectors and the two pieces of iron-on tape. We're going to set down the first piece of iron-on tape sticky side up. If you can't figure out what the sticky side is, hold it firmly between your two fingers and rub it back and forth. The sticky side will stick to your finger, whereas the other side will slide around. Then we're going to put down the straight connector on top of it. You're going to want to put the straight connector down so that the letters up are facing you, so you can read the word up. This means that the uh, part that's going to bond to the other side of the straight connector is facing inward. Once you have these two in place, you're going to want to put down the exposed threads from the iron on circuitry and the two exposed wires from the Molex connector. Once you have those in a place, they'll make a solid connection. You're going to put the other straight connector on top. Once that's in place, you're going to want to put the final piece of iron-on tape on top of it. Now that you have that all together, we can iron it to bond the connection. Hold it on anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds. Be sure to provide only minimum force. You want gravity to be doing the work. You shouldn't be pushing down at all. Now you need to make the connection between the iron-on circuitry and the lamp. You're gonna take the iron-on circuitry and place it right over the two connection points coming off the elastolite lamp. It should be the two gray splotches that are off on the color border. Once you put that down and the circuitry is in place, you're gonna take the connection points which came with the lamp and put those on top of it, making sure that the circuitry is sandwiched between the two. Once everything's in place there, you just iron it on just like the other one, put a little bit of pressure on the points, and wait for the bond to happen. Uh, you're gonna need to cover up the other connection point on the lamp, as those are live connection points. If it folds over and they touch, it can short out the uh, circuit. You're gonna put the connector patches on top of the open points, and you're going to put minimal pressure on the iron and just let the bond occur. Once that's all dry, you should be all set, and you can plug in your inverter and see if it works.